Let's talk about the worst protein in the world. One day, I was at Whole Foods. I was really hungry. You should never shop when you're really hungry. I was looking in the deli area, and they had some small chicken wings. So I ordered those. They looked really good. I noticed they all looked the same, but I didn't think much of it at the time. As I was driving home and eating these chicken wings, I thought, wow, these are really good. And almost too good. Then I realized there were no bones in them. Maybe I thought they were boneless chicken wings. Anyway, I got home and looked in the mirror. My eyes were completely bloodshot. I started feeling sick, extremely tired, nauseous. I went to bed and slept for three hours. I woke up feeling drunk. I called Whole Foods and asked, what was in those chicken wings? Well, those were plant-based chicken wings made with a type of protein called textured vegetable protein, also known as textured soy protein. That is the worst protein a human could eat, from my viewpoint. And, of course, the vegetable they're using is soy. Sometimes we use cottonseed as well. I didn't know cotton was a vegetable, and I don't know of many people eating cotton. But in 1960, they invented this protein. Because they had to figure out what to do with all the waste from the seed oils that they were making. So they had a great idea. Let's turn this into protein, and we'll sell it as food. And now it's in veggie burgers, fake meat products, fake hot dog products, cereals. It's in kids' lunches. It's in a lot of different things. It is an ultra-processed ingredient. The word processed means to remove. When you alter process something, you severely remove things from it. So they're taking the oil from the soybean. They're taking the nutrients. They're taking the fiber from it. They're heating it. They're putting chemical solvents like hexane, which, by the way, is in gasoline. And then you might ask yourself, how do they pull the hexane out of there? Do they use another chemical? Do they leave some of the residue in there? Well, there's no long-term safety studies. There's no upper limit that the FDA has put on hexane in your food. I mean, if there's a condition called chronic hexane toxicity, when that's mainly if you inhale it, but what if you're ingesting it all the time? Especially since almost one third of our calories are from seed oils. This product is something that has a very unique, weird shape to it. And apparently, it'll absorb three times its weight in liquid. So it basically acts as a super sponge, and over 95% of it is GMO. In nature, when you eat protein, it has a lot of things in it. Has vitamins and minerals and all sorts of things. So when you're eating this thing that's only a protein, what happens when you eat it? It has to rob nutrients from your liver. And so this relates to a similar product called soy protein isolates. So that's number two. That's almost the worst protein. But I think this textured vegetable protein is even lower than that. But with the soy protein isolates, I mean, that's like in cheese, cereal, infant formulas, and that too extracts nutrients from your liver, from your tissues. In practice, there was a diet that people went on. It was really popular called ideal protein. And the type of protein that they used was not ideal. It was this soy protein isolate. And I noticed this, a high percentage of people on that diet had a lot of problems with the liver, had a lot of problems with the gallbladder. And when you turn a soybean into this soy protein slit, the next step is to acidify it. And then you're adding bleach to take the color out and then the deodorizers, and it is also in the category of ultra process food. There's something else I want to share with you called protein poisoning. Another name for that would be rabbit starvation. If someone is out in the wilderness and they consume just rabbit meat, which is extremely lean, there's, like, hardly any fat. It's just like pure protein. They can get pretty sick. Okay? They can start developing fatigue, diarrhea, and even die. And so anytime you're eating just like a pure protein powder, realize that you're gonna create stress on the body, especially if there's not key nutrients in there, especially the fat-soluble nutrients. When you're reading this just pure protein without these other factors, you're gonna be extracting and depleting fat-soluble nutrients. Also, when you're using high heat with these amino acids from soy, 
you're creating toxins as well. And one of the toxins has an effect on the kidneys where it can enlarge the kidney's cell itself. That's called lysine lalanine. And also there's different versions of this processed. You have something called hydrolyzed soy. That's a little bit different. That's a flavor enhancer. Okay? And what they do with that is they take these long protein chains, and they cut them down so they're shorter. And that's used mainly for a flavor enhancer. In Asia, they consume a lot of soy, but usually it's not all GMO and it's fermented. If you enjoyed our video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Keep following our channel to learn more about health and support us. See you in the next video, goodbye.